Okay, the reactions of aldehydes and ketones, they, they um, um, both work in the same kind of way because they, they both have the, uh, that C double bonded to O. But oh, for, first one here is, is the production of um, aldehydes and ketones from alcohols. And oxidation, they don't say what happened here. We just know that something, or what this thing is here that's oxidizing the uh, alcohol. But if we have a primary alcohol, that's going to change into, make sure I get it right here, an aldehyde. So primary, an O8 oxygen bonding to a carbon on the end is gonna create an aldehyde. If the oxygen is on a secondary carbon, or is a secondary alcohol, is bonded to a carbon that's connected to two carbons, then that's gonna create a ketone. So primary al aldehyde, secondary um, is going to be a ketone. You can just see, if you want to do go back here, you just get rid of the hydrogen, put on a double bond, same molecule. Get rid of the hydrogen, double bond, then you have your ketone. Here though, when it's um, a tertiary alcohol, no reaction, NR. Uh, this, this already has uh, four bonds to it. Getting rid of that hydrogen and trying to put another bond would make five bonds, so that when you try to bond to a tertiary uh, or you try to oxidize a tertiary alcohol, no reaction. So those are the three possibilities. Either get an aldehyde, a ketone, or no reaction. We got some more here. Now if you have an aldehyde and you're oxidizing it, and a lot of times they'll just put O in square brackets like that, you're gonna add another oxygen to the species. And you create a carboxylic acid, so an oxygen just gets added here. If you have a ketone, then all you could do is, um, oh, so wait, this is another aldehyde, because I just wanted to hammer the point home. So if it's an aldehyde, the oxi this oxidation, whether it's written out or in this form, you're just adding an oxygen right here. Uh, between the hydrogen and the, and the carbon, creating the carboxylic acid, and there should be a, a, ket a ketone though, whether it's oxygen or if you put that there, no reaction. What you'd have to do uh, to get this to oxidize is put an oxygen between these two carbons, or between these two, which is, just requires too much energy. Slipping an oxygen between uh, this carbon and this hydrogen, not as, as difficult. You're just breaking a, a very a weak bond compared to this carbon-carbon bond. So if it's an aldehyde, it gets changed to a carboxylic acid under oxidation. If it's a ketone, no reaction. Here we have an addition reaction. If you remember when we had a alkene plus hydrogen would go to the hydrogen would just be added across the double bond. Well, this is a double bond, so we're gonna do the same thing. So let me just get rid of that. But this hydrogen, picture it's just two hydrogens attached. So if we draw it over here, hydrogen is gonna to attach to this carbon, it's gonna to attach to, to this oxygen. and the nickel needs to be there for as a catalyst, and we create a uh, alcohol. So doing it here, again, picture this hydrogen comes over, it attaches here and here, opens up that double bond, and that happens every time. So the one hydrogen goes to the oxygen, one goes to the carbon that was the other side of that double bond. Same thing here. So we move this hydrogen over just to show that, you know, I erase it just to show that we've moved it over here. Goes here, here, opens up that double bond. Same thing every time. And then uh, the last one is a ketone. Again, the hydrogen is just, uh, can be pictured 
I'm just going to move it so that it's easier to see that this hydrogen goes here, hydrogen goes here. So draw the full structure. Doesn't matter what the rest of this stuff is. We're just looking right here. That's the whole point of these, these reactions. We're, we only have to focus on one functional group at a time. The rest of the molecule, as huge as, as it is, is just there. It doesn't do anything. So we just carry it through. And that's one thing that you have to realize about these reactions. I could have made this, mo this molecule so large that it covered three sheets of paper. But if all the rest of it were hydrocarbons and there was just one ketone group, that's the only place that you'd have a reaction. So. Look at what you're dealing with. Don't worry about all this other crap. No matter how massive it gets, we're just looking at this one carbonyl group. And that's that.